What matters most is that that connection with the self becomes conscious, more conscious, and yet more conscious. That the attention dives deeper and deeper and deeper into that. Hello, Bernard. Hello, Maria. Hello. My question is about, um, I'd love you to give some guidance about the sharing of spiritual experiences. Um, in my practice, uh, I join a, a meditation group twice a day. And part of the structure is we do our meditation by ourselves and then there is a time for sharing. If anybody wishes to share, we share. Mm -hmm. And I definitely get a lot of inspiration, lots of clarity. It's very, to me, it's very beneficial, that, uh, that part of the practice. And myself, but the question I have myself is that sometimes I feel when I share, um, I feel the clarity that is a time for sharing for me. There's yes. something that has happened during the meditation or, or sometimes outside the meditation, but it's connected to the, 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 the spiritual experience. Sometimes I feel even that there is, like in other occasions, I receive messages from others. It's almost as if I, uh, something is coming through me for others as well, not just for me to, to hear. And there is clarity about that. But then there are other occasions where I doubt a lot of whether it's the right thing to do or not to yes. share. Yes. And, and there are occasions where I do and I feel I lose a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. um, and there are occasions where I don't know really. <laughs> I don't know whether it has been the right thing or not. Not sure. So if you could please um, give a bit of guidance on that, on the sharing part, when we put words into something we have experienced for, to hear ourselves and, to, and for others. Yeah. Thank you. So when you are with a group like this, you can do that because uh, all the others, they are in the same similar current and they are open to what you are talking about. But even there, uh, you, as you say, you have experienced sometimes that simply flows and then there is no question. And then there are other times where there is a doubt, where it, whether it's a good thing to do. And I would recommend you, when you have that feeling of a doubt, then you better don't do it. And outside of that group, it's better not to talk about it. Because it's sort of like we are wasting something often when you go out and talk about this to people who are not really open to, you are wasting something very precious and there is no benefit in it. It's like you're losing something precious and nobody can benefit from it. If the people are exchanging like you are telling, then you don't lose anything, but be careful that you are really open that something beautiful that wants to express itself flows through you. And there does that, that aspect of vanity doesn't come in. Often this sharing is just an excuse for showing off. <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's very popular, this sharing, sharing, sharing. And sometimes in the winter time, people come here and say, I just want to share. And it's obvious. They use that very popular expression, sharing, but it's purely to show off. And if you do that, whatever good has happened is sort of like thrown away. So it's good to be very aware. Nothing wrong in a group like that, that you share. If everybody is doing that, then 
uh, it's fine. But really connect and let it flow freely and then nobody is losing anything and everybody is gaining something. But as soon as the Mimi comes in and I want to say this and I also want to say that and the feeling of it after all, it's a good thing that I have. <laughs> and then they see what, what kind of great experience I had and there comes something in that is diluting it and rather you are wasting something. Then if you have a doubt, then better don't talk. And especially outside of the group, be very conservative <laughs> how, how you talk about your experiences. Because most of the time it doesn't bring much, but uh, it's like there is something precious there from when you had a nice experience and just the memory of it still inspires you to open up. And if we throw it away, talking to people about it who who think it's a bit nutty what this woman is talking about, then uh, it's like that preciousness can disappear. Thank you. Yes, I, and what I felt lately is that I have the feeling that now for me is more about, in a way, is when, when the mystics and spiritual teachings talk about is between each one of us and God, you know, that there is a, something that is very intimate in the relationship with God. And uh, it feels as if I'm beginning uh, uh, to touch on that, that uh, less of, uh, of talking about it and, and keeping it more inside, yeah. Right. When it's naturally overflowing, then let it flow. And otherwise, just keep it private for yourself. <laughs> it's between, <laughs> right, it's between God and you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Bernard. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Adio. 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 <laughs> Is there anybody else who would like to come? Well, can I say a few more, more words about the same subject? Because sometimes people tell me also here, in wintertime, when there are many people here and they meet in the restaurants and in the tea shops, and people tell me how everybody is always talking about their grand experience, and they are wondering how much is true, how much is exaggeration, how much they make out of a little thing, a big story. <laughs> and as a rule of thumb, it's better not to talk about if somebody experiences something special. Because most of the time when people do that in this kind of social gatherings, it's more that I as a person want to show off what I have experienced to impress the others. And of course this is totally counterproductive. What we are looking for is that which is there prior to the person, not somehow trying to give a more and more spiritual color to the personality so that everybody could, else could admire that. <laughs> Sometimes great beings like Sri Ramakrishna have been talking about their visions 
not because they wanted to show off, but to inspire their followers. And that was a great blessing when they did so. But actually, compared to what they all experienced, they talked always very, very little. Ramana Maharshi, he hardly ever talked. When he talks about his life, then he says about the external things in the beginning of what happened. He talks about, he talked about his death experience and what immediately after that started to happen. And even then people misunderstand and think he was at the end of his journey when he was a young boy, but no, the real journey started there. And from there it unfolded. But then he talks about, he came to Tiruvannamalai and then he sat here and he sat there and we know how he moved about. But of all his tremendous depth and wealth that he experienced, he didn't talk about it. It just radiated in his silence. He was sitting there and all his depth was just flowing out. And sometimes people could somehow or other bring out little nuggets <laughs> from what he had experienced, but basically he never felt the need of trying to talk about this. The stronger you are getting, the more profound your self-awareness, the more powerful your spiritual wealth, the more it's just simply expressing itself through your being without we have to go around, I experience this, I experience that, and, and so on. <laughs> <coughs> Nevertheless, what Marie, Maria said can be all right in a group where everybody comes together for the same purpose. If it's done in the right spirit, and if it's coming out authentic. That's just an expression of what has been experienced and people can inspire each other without getting hooked too much on all the little details that have happened. What matters most is that that connection with the self becomes conscious, more conscious and yet more conscious, that the attention dives deeper and deeper and deeper into that. And for the mind, this is nothing spectacular. It's not big <laughs> thunders and lightnings and <laughs> God knows what. It's just an increasing sense of peace, of well-being, of beauty, of trust in existence, in that divinity, which is at the base of everything. 